We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samiza and today we are going to be doing some DIY baby rompers for my niece. So in this video, I will be using this Cricut Maker machine. This machine was sent to me by Cricut of course. So I would like to thank Cricut personally for actually giving me this machine to try. And yes, I did try and experiment with this machine. I actually made this romper for my niece a few months back. But this one is actually pretty easy. I just used this logo I found online. But today we are going to be doing something different we are going to um, design and also draw from scratch so to do this I am using my iPad and my Apple pencil and I'm gonna be using the procreate apps for the first design this one is actually very easy I just use the brush pen option in these apps and I just write down her name with the brush pen after that, I went ahead and smoothened out the edges, making sure everything looks smooth and nice. Once I'm done, I went ahead and disabled the background before I saved the file in PNG format. The next step is to open the Cricut Design app and import the file. After I have imported the file, I resize the image to make sure that it fits nicely on the romper. If you are not sure of the sizing, you can go ahead and measure it first on the romper, just like how I show you here in this video. Once I have set the sizing, I tap on the continue button and select the mirror on option. If you are using the heat transfer vinyl, you will need to tick this option because the design will show through to the front and you want it to be viewed the correct way and not backwards. It can be a bit tricky at first but once you get a hang of it, trust me, it is actually easy and fun. Once everything has been set, I just take my vinyl and cut it a little bit bigger than the size measured earlier. After I'm done with the cutting, I went ahead and placed the vinyl on this light grip mat. Now that everything is set, it is time to load the mat into the Cricut Maker machine. To load, you simply have to press the load button on the Cricut machine and just follow the instruction. I was pretty scared to use this machine at first. I thought it was going to be hard to learn but everything is so straightforward and now that I have this machine, I know I will be doing a lot of DIYs in the future. Now back to this video, after everything has done, I went ahead and unload the mat from the machine and by using this weeding tool, I just weed out the excess gently and carefully to make sure that I won't accidentally tear off the vinyl. And to make sure that it is placed nice and centered on the romper, I fold it into half but I make sure that I don't fold the vinyl and I only fold the plastic sheet at the back of the vinyl. To adhere the vinyl on the romper, I went ahead and turned on my iron. So in this video, I am using my regular household iron. For this purpose, I also fold the romper and iron at the center to create a line. This way, I know where my center is and I can easily place the vinyl. I also used a piece of fabric to prevent the vinyl from overheating. I know some people don't use fabric for this purpose, but I just don't feel um, very confident ironing plastic. Maybe it is just me. I don't know. You do you. Anyway, once everything is done, 
I wait for it um, to cool down completely and it is time to reveal the result. I'm quite happy with the result. At least everything is nice and center. My niece will be wearing a romper with my handwriting and that makes me really happy. I also did another design but I'm not going to go into details because it is just the same um, steps that I have shown to you guys earlier. But this one particular design is actually suggested by my sister. She sent me the drawing and I thought it is very cute. I also ended up adding the word Myrosa, which is a combination of Myra, which is my niece's name, and dinosaur. I hope my sister won't kill me if she sees this. Anyway, for this design, I am using two different colors, but the steps are just the same. Here's the final result. I really like how they turned out and I actually had the chance to um, give these rompers to my niece. And I mean, look at that. Isn't she adorable? Alright guys, I think that's all for this time. I hope you had fun watching me crafting this project today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I am a newbie with this machine, but as I said, it is very easy to learn even for a newbie like me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by subscribing. Talk to you guys again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.